the president's new policy on Afghanistan. Did he do enough? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, I think he'll have to send some more troops at the end of the year, and I would have changed the rhetoric slightly, but he's basically all in to win the war in Afghanistan, as he should be. Uh, I think he made the right decision. You do need to engage in a big in a counterinsurgency. It's what we did in Iraq, and it worked, and I think it'll work uh, in Afghanistan. I wouldn't exaggerate the influence of the project, the New American Century. It's a very small think tank, but in some respects, we argued for, I suppose you might say, elements of the Bush doctrine before the Bush doctrine existed or before George W. Bush became president. If you're someone from one of the think tanks that dreamed up the Iraq war and who predicted that we'd be greeted as liberators and that we wouldn't need a lot of troops and that Iraqi oil would pay for the war, that the WMDs would be found, that the looting wasn't problematic, that the mission was accomplished, that the insurgency was in its last throes, that things would get better after the people voted, after the government was formed, after we got Saddam, after we got his kids, after we got Sarkawi, and that the whole bloody mess wouldn't turn into a civil war, you have to stop making predictions. <laughs> William Crystal pooh-poohed the fears that Sunnis and Shiites would be at each other's throats as the stuff of pop psychology. Right. And now Mr. Crystal proposes immediate military action against Iran, predicting the Iranians will thank us for it. <laughs> hey, you know what, Nostradamus? Why don't you sit this one out? <laughs> We'll get by using the magic eight ball for a while. And you do need to engage in a big in a counterinsurgency, and I think it'll work uh, in Afghanistan.